occasion of Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday this past week got me thinking about relationships between the races as described in Scripture. As a white middle-class suburban pastor of a largely white middle-class suburban church, it's occurred to me that I have a few blind spots when it comes to the subject matter of race. We just finished a three-month teaching series right before Christmas based on the one another's of the New Testament, looking at, at relationships within the body of Christ. And not once did we call attention to how race impacts those relationships in the church. All that controversial stuff going on in our country since the summer, from Ferguson to Baltimore, the rise of Black Lives Matter, and it doesn't even appear on our radar screen once? If that's not a blind spot, I don't know what is. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, perhaps, because I've tried to comfort myself with the same thought. Haven't we made such tremendous progress in our country since that day more than 50 years ago now, when Dr. King strode to the podium at the Lincoln Memorial and gave that famous I Have a Dream speech? Don't forget what it was that really launched that movement and put Dr. King in the public eye. It was in 1955 that King, then a 26-year-old pastor of Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama, was called upon to lead a bus boycott in that city after the arrest of a quiet black seamstress named Rosa Parks, who refused to give up her seat on the bus to a white man. When asked to explain why she had clearly broken the law which demanded that she give up her seat, she said, my feet were tired. A black person could not ride a city bus. And far worse things than that were going on in our country back then. This was us. This was our country. And not a long time ago. You almost can't get your brain around it. So yes, a lot of these conditions have changed for the better. But Dr. King's dream for America was that his four children would grow up and be judged not by the color of their skin, but by the conduct of their character. Once you hold up that standard, the standard of a colorless acceptance of another human being, well, you realize how far we still have to travel on this road. And, and this, by the way, wasn't just Dr. King's dream, but his dream was rooted in the Bible. His dream was actually rooted in God's own dream for us.